One of the best shower thoughts that I ever had was that some wars don't actually have names. And the reason that it doesn't actually have names is not because they don't have a name, it's because they have loads. Let's take some modern conflicts like the Gaza War or the uh, is, uh, uh, Ukraine War, okay? How many, how many words or names do you think you've referred to all those wars by in your lifetime, okay? Uh, let me give you an example of the Ukraine War. The Ukraine War has so many names. The Invasion of Ukraine. The Ukraine War. The Russian invasion of Ukraine, Putin's invasion of Ukraine, the special military operation in Ukraine. Like at that point, if, if everybody keeps referring to their different names, then my own conclusion can be it doesn't have one agreed upon name. The same thing about Gaza, we can call it the Gaza War, the Palestine War, the Israel-Gaza War, the Israel-Hamas War. You, you Wikipedia went with the Israel-Hamas War. And speaking of Wikipedia, I believe that Wikipedia is the person that's going to get to choose the name in the end. Put it this way, a hundred years from now, people are going to look back and want to learn about these wars, okay? And where's the first place they're gonna go? Exactly! The best place to learn history on the planet, the hottest website in the world, Wikipedia. So then they're gonna see the title that Wikipedia's chosen and assume that th that was the name of the war. However, the opposite thing can happen. There are some wars where they have too many names and so Wikipedia just has to choose one, but there's some wars that genuinely just don't have a name, like, at all. Like, for example, in 1916, Central Asia rose up in revolt, against the Russian Empire, okay? And it's such a poorly documented topic. Apparently it was such a taboo topic in the Soviet Union that you weren't allowed to teach it in schools or write about it in books, okay? So obviously it was so difficult to get information about it because the archives were hidden in the Soviet Union. So would you like to know how long after the revolt the first ever academic study was published about it? 38 years, okay? The, the, the first book I thought it was published in 1954. There's no way it has an official name recognised by any government because they, like, nobody's heard of it. Like, had you heard of it before just now? I mean, if you're a subscriber to my channel, possibly, but apart from that, probably not. So then I posed a question. How does Wikipedia decide what to title their articles? Simple. They just do a brief description of what the war was. Central Asian Revolt, 1916, sounds about good to me. So that's the two kinds of wars that don't have names. The ones that have too many names, because everybody talks about them, and the wars that just don't have a name, because nobody or barely anybody talks about them. And that's how Wikipedia, you know, a hundred years or two hundred years from now, will eventually just decide what the name's gonna be. Forever. And by the way, that's not a bad thing at all, I just find it interesting.